What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. Now, in today's video, we are headed over to the Tampa Auto Show. And, well, I think it's time to look for a replacement for the Subaru. Now, I know some of you may be triggered, and this isn't going to happen overnight. You know, I'm not quite sure when exactly I'm going to pull, I guess, the trigger on this. But, I think it's time we look for a replacement for the Subaru. I mean... I've had her for a long time. She's been a great car, but in the end, I think it may be time, you know, maybe time to mix it up, maybe time to look for something different. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do that. I obviously wanna know what you guys think about each of my choices. I hope they're all there so we can kind of scope them all out. I think they should be. Um, so yeah, it should be good. And then one last thing before we leave is check out this shirt. Yeah, that's right. I love this shirt. Do I have any DBZ fans in the house? If I got any DBZ fans in the house, throw this video a thumbs up because DBZ is awesome. Anyway guys, we're not late or anything, but we should probably leave if we want to get there. So let's go. It doesn't hurt to also admire, admire this site right here because it never gets old. However, we're gonna be taking, that's right, the Kia Soul. Kia Soul. Oh, by the way, look who's back in the vlog. Do you, uh, do you miss being in the vlog? Sure do. She misses being in the vlog. <laughs> She's back! She's back! Prototype, prototype vehicle. Looks pretty sick. Got a bunch of carbon all over the place. Big wing. Pretty cool. You just want to look at the Land Rovers? Mm. No Land Rovers. This is the classy section apparently because we got the uh, 720S. You like the 720S? What do you mean, meh? She doesn't know what's good for her. I like the 720S. Unfortunately, the 720S is not the replacement for the Subaru. Unfortunately. This La Ferrari is just stunning. Just stunning. That's what I'm talking about. Very cool. This is actually the first one I think I've seen in person. So cool. You like that one at least? No, it's, it's, this one's not quite good enough for it, but we're getting there. We're moving on up to the ladder here. 812 super fast. Because, well, it's super fast. She really wants a Ford Edge. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you, that's how you're gonna sit all gangster style way back there. Just thug it out in your Ford Edge. <laughs> your mom car. Looks decent. Not a huge Ford guy. There you go. Now, how would you drive it? A thug? <laughs> thug it out? Should this be Megan's new mom car? Leave a comment in the comment section below. So we have the uh, the 20, I believe 19, if I had to guess, new Ranger. Let's check it out. Not bad. This is, this is the first time I've seen it in person. Now they have it locked, so we can't go in it, but not bad. Looks pretty nice. Not really sure why they got rid of the Ranger for so long. I guess because of bad sales, but if you guys can really see in there or not. Already bedlined. Okay. EcoBoost would be pretty nice in these things. It's it's not a bad looking truck, I'll say that. I don't like the color at all, but nice wheels on it. it looks kind of like your typical Ford interior. I don't know why they don't let you sit in these things. Cause you'd think, you know, new truck, auto show, you'd love to sit in it to see if you'd be interested in it. I, I guess not. And now she's looking at an escape. 
So what about this? What about a Type R? You guys gotta help me out here. This is a potentially, I mean it's a hatch. So you got the hatch already going on. A Civic Type R is in the running. Now, I've never had a Honda before, so, but I do like the way it looks. I have yet to drive one, but I don't know, potentially. Let's check out, nice Type R seats. I dig the gauges. I, I dig it. Actually, it's pretty comfortable. Not bad. Let's see what I look like driving in it. What do you think? Yes, no? Can I rock it? I don't know. It is comfortable though. It is comfortable. 35,000. Hmm. Got a new Veloster. Harrison, this one's for you, buddy. This one is for you. What do we think of the new Veloster? Eh. I don't know. I mean, the seats aren't too bad. It's not nearly as nice as that Type R was. Alright, not bad. Nice touch screen. Dude, this old guy is ripping it on this simulator. He's taking it to the next level. Option number two, a Julia. Now this is a, this is a little quirky one. I bet you guys didn't see this one coming. I know you didn't see this one coming. What about a Julia? You know, it's sporty. You can make it decently fast. It's different. Upvote, downvote, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But, these are pretty cool. It's got the big sunroof there. You don't see too many of these around, so it definitely makes it more unique, but, you know, just picture kind of, you know, stanced. You know, because any car I had get is gonna be stanced, but you know, pretty cool. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell it's very good materials in here. Uh, steering wheel, very nice. Very nice indeed. I like the uh, the leather feels really good. Kind of everything in here feels good. Let's close the door. This is this is nice. Not gonna lie, I love this stop start button right there. Look at these paddles though. These paddles are massive, and they actually feel actually feel really good. This is um, definitely more of an upscale car, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely definitely an option, guys. I don't know. You can see that uh, that turbo right there. Could be interesting. Somehow this went from me looking at a new car to Megan looking at a new car. Not sure how that happened, but yeah. Option three, Kia Stinger. All right, you guys know all about this. I would want the twin turbo six with the 350 horsepower, obviously, but what do you guys think of the Kia Stinger? Oh, well, I'm digging the uh, I'm digging the red interior. I don't know. Of course, all the seats are all the way back. I'm too short. I can't reach anything. But um, hmm, initial impressions. It looks it looks very nice. It's got a nice flat bottom wheel here. The buttons feel pretty good. It's kind of a weird little thing here, but I guess you know, automatic and all. It's not not terrible. Wheel feels pretty good. I know these are somewhat new. Oh, we got the nice sunroof up there. These are somewhat new, so the full potential probably hasn't been completely uh, kind of realized yet, but. Trunk space, oh wow. Very good trunk space, if that's, you know, important to y'all. I do like the color as well. What do you think of the Kia Stinger? Yes, the stroller will fit. Yes, the stroller will fit. It's, it is actually a pretty big car compared to the other options. I guess the Julia was decently big, but it's pretty big. Option four, you guessed it, it is another Subaru. So, it is still in the running. I do love my Subaru. I'm not opposed to getting another one, but I think, I, I don't know, man, I just kind of want to wait until the new one comes out. Not that this isn't, you know, maybe a good replacement idea, but I just, I don't know, I kind of want something new. What do you guys think? You gotta help me on the comment section. Should I get another Subaru? It would probably honestly be a WRX. Pretty much because I don't, I, I just do not want to buy a car with the same motor that I've had this whole time. So, um, this particular one, it's got the Recaros, right? 
set these a few more than one of these I guess I would say so I mean it, it, the interior is definitely improved over my model um, it's got the big screen here mine does not have that but I just don't know guys it's, it definitely is a nice steering wheel definitely an improvement but same size car kind of same thing I feel a lot of people have kind of um, done Subarus so I'm not sure if I want to be another one and do another Subaru so yeah it's not happening no way for one the wheels I don't like them I think they're ugly so it's not happening this is my first car. yeah well this was not your first car but we're on to option number five which is yeah you probably could have guessed it even though this is just a GTI I would most likely get the Golf R but they don't have a Golf R here, so it's kind of weird. I do kind of miss my hatch. I had a Mazda Speed 3 for those of you who didn't know before, so this is kind of nice back here. Uh, so, interior of a GTI. I love the, uh, the flat bottom wheel. Everything in here feels pretty good from what I've seen before. It's kind of dark in here, but this one does have the sunroof as well. I'm not sure, guys. Front wheel drive though, so I definitely want the Golf R being all wheel drive. Um, plus, you know, we tune it. And uh, probably some other goodies as well, but a GTR, GTI is far cheaper. So, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of good cars here. What do you guys think? Out of the five options that we've looked at today, what do you guys think is the best replacement for the Subaru? Definitely have to do some test drives. This is the real test, honestly, because y'all know how, all you married guys know how this is. Real test. What about the GTI? Not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. New Camaro, here's the test. I think it's ugly. You saw my video how I thought it was ugly. What do you think? I still think it's ugly. I'm sorry. I just, I don't like it. It's, it's very blah. I, I don't know. The Mustang looks so much better. And the worst part is the taillights. Like, what is going on here, guys? What is the... I don't know. It's just not... It doesn't do it for me. It just is not doing it for me. The taillights with, like, the bubble thing, it, it's just... It's not good. Right, this is ridiculous. Now she's looking at it. S560 sedans. Think we're made of money? You think this channel brings in that much income? I think I found my time. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit it because, you know, she's got expensive tastes. Maz is killing it with their test drive area. They got a whole lounge, they got lemonade, cookies. Man, Maz is killing it. And then you got Ford over here and straight up just like a little tent. So, yeah. So there may or may not be a food vlog coming. I feel bad because we haven't done a food vlog in a long time. It's been, I don't know, too long for no food vlogs. So there may be tacos, there may not be tacos. There will be ice cream. Ice cream. So there's gonna be ice cream. So, food vlog. So what are we gonna get here? What is this? What? Follow Skyline. This guy, he knows what he's doing. That's right, do it. But uh, I think we're going for the, uh, going for the bowl. Oh yeah. Maggie Poo got tacos. This is only the first course. It's only the first course. very full so I think now is an effective time to end this video so go ahead throw this video a thumbs up if you guys are new please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section below of those five options what do you think is going to be the best Subaru replacement and what what SUV you think Megan should get I think the SQ5 may be slightly out of budget but anyway guys thank you for watching and we will catch you on the next video peace